So these are my groceries that I've got for the soups. I haven't got everything here. I still need to pick up some oxtail from the market because Waitrose didn't stock that. But let me show you what I've got anyway. I've got some kale. This is the Pentland Brick Kale. Lots of mushrooms because one of the soup is um, a mushroom soup. So we've got regular mushrooms, some shiitake mushrooms. And these ones that I actually ordered from Amazon are reishi mushrooms. They just need to be rehydrated. Um, what else have I got? Peppers. These are from my mum's garden. A lot of the soups just start with like a basic sofrito kind of mix, which is celery um, and onions and carrots. So I've got those. I've also got leeks. I've got um, kombu, which is quite commonly used in a stock. So I've got to do that as well. Just regular white onions, courgette lemon, spring onion, parsley, carrots. Um, this isn't actually gonna go in the soup now, but it is a very fine pasta. It's actually stars and moon shape, and that's gonna go in the minestrone when I cook it. Then I've got some butternut squash, tomatoes, ginger. This ginger we have had before, and it's really nice, and I don't know if I noticed last time, it's the um, well good variety, but this is actually a string bag that it's in, which is quite nice. And then I've got turmeric, I've also got bamboo shoots, tin tomatoes, kidney beans, and cannellini beans. And the same, these noodles aren't actually gonna go in the soup, but after they're defrosted, I will put like a puck of noodles into it. So that is all of the groceries that I've got for now. Let's get started. I'm starting off with the minestrone soup. There is gonna be a lot of chopping today. I'm also adding to it a chili and some cabbage that I already had in the fridge. I'm gonna give these peppers a good wash and get chopping. I'm absolutely loving the colors that are going into this, especially these, um, the dark peppers. They don't stay that dark when they're cooked. And then yellow and orange, it's just gonna be a really vibrant soup. I've added Italian herb and smoked paprika to this pan. I haven't added any of the button, butternut squash yet, but as you can see, the pan is really full. Some of this stuff will reduce down, but I'm just gonna leave it out. I think it's quite substantial as it is. The minestrone is done. I have just had a bowl of this. It tastes really good. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but I think that'll be fine. I have these amazing Xylus glass containers that freeze really well. I've only got a few of them and I'm going to be making so much food over the next month that I have gone for these aluminium trays just because it's not worth me investing in that much glassware. I think it would be nice to get the cardboard ones that you get the takeaway if you possibly can. But for now, I'm going to fill these up. This made a lot of soup. Um, I think I should have filled them slightly lower because they are going to expand when they go into the freezer. Might have trouble getting the lids on these. I also filled up a glass container that I can put in the fridge and eat tomorrow just because I don't need this many. I'm making a lot of different soups today. I don't need that many. Um, but these four, once they cool down a bit, I will get them frozen off. So these are the ingredients for my next soup, which is a shiitake immu immune boost broth. It's actually from this book called The First 40 Days. It's got some really nice recipes in there. So if you want the full recipe, you can check it out there. It's not really my recipe to share. I'm gonna start with getting this all diced up. I've got to get some garlic from the garden to add to this too. This soup starts with frying the leeks and onions. It's unusual to have both of them as a base, I think. And because this is a broth, the recipe says to strain all of this goodness out of it at the end, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna keep all of this in. I've got these dried reishi mushrooms, which are quite expensive as well. It seems kind of wasteful to strain it off, but I have got some fresh turmeric, so I'm gonna take that out. And to give this the flavor is the kombu, and I'll also take that out. And these three, the lemon parsley and the, well, it, the recipe calls for ca uh, cabbage, but I've got some kale, and they go in right at the very end. So just this stuff is going into the pan now. I'm also skipping the salt because I think with the kombu, which is a seaweed, it's gonna be salty enough. This will simmer for an hour. Again, I'm struggling with not quite having a big enough pot. I've got three liters of liquid in here. I've got it on a really low heat too, and it's still splashing over. Maybe need to separate it into two pans. The mushroom soup has reduced now. It's been on for just over an hour. I'm gonna take these big seaweed sheets out of it. I think it's got quite a bitter flavor to it. So hopefully the lemon is gonna sweeten it up. We'll see. 
the lemon zest on its own didn't make that much difference but since I put the parsley in and there's a lot of parsley in this it has really lightened it up so I'm going to get this into tubs now. So this has made another five trays and there's still quite a bit of broth left over so what I think I'm going to do is freeze that into ice cube trays because it will be a nice one to add into other dishes or I could try drinking it as a tea or a broth perhaps. I'm also going to make a chicken noodle soup. I'm going to add the noodles into it after I've defrosted it. I roasted these two chickens off last night. I'm going to take the meat off them now and then boil up the bones. To go in with the chicken bones, I've got carrot, uh, leek, celery, some turmeric. I'm going to put the rest of those peppers in. Green peppers aren't my favourite, so I thought I would just stick them all in for the flavour. Quite a big bit of ginger and some garlic. I will drain all of this off and then add some finely diced vegetables for the for what I'm going to actually serve it with what I'm going to eat. After stripping the chicken I've got like the bones and the jelly that were in that tin in my big pan. The breasts I'm going to slice and freeze and Trevor will take those for sandwiches. The legs I shredded and then this is the more cho finely chopped veg that are going to go into it after I've reduced the stock down. So I'll just add some water into that and let it all simmer away, probably for about an hour, an hour and a half. The stock is boiled up now, I've just let it cool down. I did end up putting half of the lemon from the mushroom soup in it. It was just the one, I'd already squeezed it, but I thought I would leave it in for a bit of flavour. I'm gonna drain this all off now. I forgot to freeze the chicken soup as I was filling it up, but I've just put them into the freezer with the lids off. And once they're frozen, I'll put the lids on them and it made five five pots and once they're frozen they'll stack nicely too. I couldn't get a hold of oxtail so the next day I just made up the last soup which was butternut squash. I roasted that off and then I mixed it with a jar of red peppers and some coriander and I blitzed it up and it made another four trays for the freezer so we had 17 soups in total. Stay tuned to next week guys because I'm going to be making some main meals for the freezer. These ones I think will be for lunches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.